today I'm going to share some knowledge again related to Abhidhamma, the most distinctive and profound philosophy of mind in Buddhism. So, hope that every one of you have the book. The, the book name is a Manual of Abhidhamma. You can go to Google and, and download it. So page number 16, yeah, it's page number 16, Abhidham Matta Sangdaha, the manual of Abhidham, Namotas Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhas, chapter 1, Chitta Sangha Vibhago, for the Tumpuati Dapamoy, Nid Nyom Put Bodhisattva Nada means a po, ku. A manual of Abhidhamma. Kanong palay antrajet ke hal tha Abhidhamma ta sangha po tempoati dap dap pramoy. Chitta sangha vibhago. Different types of consciousness. So the chitta sangha vibhago means different types of consciousness. Introductory verse. Introductory verse. Kekita kananuam. Sama sambud matulang sasan sasadham ganutmang abhivadi bahasisang abhidhammat sanggahan. So the translation goes thus. Going this way, the fully enlightened, peerless one, with the sublime doctrine and the noble order, do I respectfully salute, and shall speak concisely of things contained in the Abhidhamma. So the simple meaning is, so the in the introductory verse was written by the author uh, to respect to the triple gem. First one, the fully uh, enlightened peerless one is related to refer to, to the Buddha. Simply you just know that the Buddha and fully enlightened peerless one is the quality of the Buddha. So first the author pay homage to the Buddha and second with the sublime doctrine, it means the teaching of the Buddha, the Dharma. And the final one, the noble order, it means the Mahasangha, the community of the monks. I do respectfully salute. I do respectfully salute. It means you pay homage, you pay respect to the Buddha, Dharma and Sangha. And so I'll speak concisely of things contained in Abhidhamma and the author seeks the permission to talk uh, the content or the things in Abhidhamma very concisely it means very brief very uh, briefly but uh, it's very comprehensive understand uh, 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 understandable អាងដែលលោកបានសរសេរសិភៅនឹងលោកណាសូមគោរពជាថាអាត្មាប្រាយខ្មែរនេះប្រាយទីទីទេព្រោះគឺសូមថ្វាយបង្គំសូមនមស
So it's 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 a concise discussion. It's mean that brief but comprehensive. So so this is the the meaning of the Abhidhammata Sangha according to the author himself. Notes page number 16 if you have the book page number 16 Abhidhammata Sangha is the name of the book. So Abhidhammata Sangha is the Pali name and English and uh, English translation is a manual of Abhidhamma, it is a book. Abhidhamma. So now we are going to discuss the word of Abhidhamma. Literally means higher do doctrine. Atta here means things. Sangha means a, a compendium. A compendium. So let me explain to you again. Abhidhamma, the word Abhidhamma literary like word by word. Uh, Abhidhamma means higher doctrine, you know. This is, this is the, the higher doctrine. Uh, 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 a higher doctrine. And Atta mean here, things or content or core teachings incorporated in, in, in Abhidhamma. And Sangaha means compendium or we can say the concise collection of the core teaching the concise collection of uh, core teaching of the of, of, uh, of abhidhamma so uh, again the a manual of abhidhamma uh, refers to the concise collection of the teaching incorporated in in abhidhamma uh, could I see the book? Uh, you, you, you can go to Google and you can type uh, a manual of Abhidhamma, Venerable, I think, Mao Nimol. You can go to the Google and you can download it, okay? So it is English translation from the Abhidhamma Tasangaha. So, Abhidhamma ពើគឺជាប្រធានដល់ប្រពៃណាហើយអត្ថកន្លែងនេះគេចង់និយាយថាជាសេចក្តីណាជាសេចក្តីទីងឬក៏ដូចថាអ្វីក៏បានដែរ
ปียกอะไรทวารอะไรนี่ทวมีอะไรนี่มีนิทานทวารบาปอังเอ็กอดินชูเดอัตเตซาลินี so อัตเตซาลินี is the commentary so อัตเตซาลินี is the commentary of uh, of a b i d a m so so according to the อัตเตซาลินี abhi so again the อัตเตซาลินี signifies or explains expounds and elaborates The word abhi again. So according to the uh, according to the Atasalini, the commentary of Abhidhamma, abhi signifies either atireka. So it's a Pali term. So signifies atireka. So atireka is the Pali term. It means higher, greater, exceeding. So there are many meaning of this prefix, the the abhi. Or Abhi signifies another term, not only a t i r e k a but another term, a visitor. Okay, a visitor, distinguish, distinct, special, sublime. So, so according to the a t a s a l i n i the term or the prefix abhi has, you know, many meanings. Okay, one one is. a t i r e k a you can be okay. We let's go to English. Abhi, according to the a t a s a l i n i abhi signifies signifies a higher, greater, exceeding, or distinguished, distinct, special, uh, sublime. So simply, uh, Abhidhamma. That's so all. The doctrine of the Buddha incorporated in in Abhidhamma is really distinguished, uh, great, uh, and special. Abhidhamma means. The higher doctrine, because so Abhidharma means is the higher uh, doctrine because. จังอาธรรมะก็ประโยชน์ขมายกลางกลางได้นุ่มก็สังขารเด็กกุปตายธรรมะนั่งยึดพิสัยขมายจราจรอ่างเลจราจรเพื่อจังยึดบานดังตาพิอภินั่งกุมีในจราจรหล่อประเพณีจังเตยขนมขนมอัตตะกาอัตสาลินี้กุมีในจราจรมีในถักปวงปวงมีถักหล่ออัตชอนักประเพณีนักขอบิเกพิเศษเจียงเกะคือมีนคือมีนในจังคือเปียคือเปียอภิหนึ่งจังทวายมดังไอ้คือทวารบาปองปัจจัยทวารนองอภิทวมคือพิเศษนะประเพณีเจียงเจียงเกะนั้นบางทีเราจะเปียบางทีเราเปียดเปียอุปสรรคอุปสรรคเกะปีมกนั้นคืออภิอภิธรรม means the higher doctrine because it enables one to achieve one's deliverance so อภิธรรม is so special Because it has the ability for person, for one person, to achieve the enlightenment, or because it exceeds the teaching of the Sut t a p i t a k a and v i n a y a p i t a k a So this is the meaning of the Abhidhamma. So there are many meanings. So new means p a u d a i s new means p a u d a i new me. New new k o m p o n g m e bai kot means pau. Na lau thamai lau tong p o t i dop pompel. Okay, so and Abhidham it is special because it it exceeds the teaching incorporated in discourses and in disciplinary courts. n h ư n g l n đ y m ớ tiết Abhidham cái chuyện thoa bị xét cái đời xa thoa năng chơi hay p r o p e c h ư n g thoa xem xem đại nơi con prasod hay nơi nơi con p r a h i n a y c h ư n g nơi con cá p h n g dùng tam bị sao ăn lên đi. In the sut the pitaka, sut the pitaka nâng cái chia ก็จะประสบนะประสบใบดอกนั่นคือคือจะเปลี่ยนอังเลได้เก็บปลาวินเนปิตะก็คือจะเปลี่ยนวินัย so in the sutta pitaka and v i n a y pitaka pitaka the Buddha has used conventional terms such as man animal being and so on so in discourses and in disciplinary courts Buddha Use the term like it is called conventional conventional terms like man, animal, and so on. But in Abhidhamma Pitaka, on the contrary, everything is microscopically microscopically analyzed, and abstract terms are used. So you can understand that. So in uh, discourses or in disciplinary courts. 
uh, Buddha used the conventional term to convey his teaching. But in Abhidhamma, he used uh, you know, the abstract terms or the terms which were used are microscopically analyzed. Like, it's really profound, it's really philosophical, it's really uh, complicated um, to some extent. So, just to remind you that the terms used in Abhidhamma are really profound and really uh, philosophical. As a distinction is made with regard to the method of treatment, it is called Abhidhamma. So, because of, of distinction or because of distinctive qualities in Abhidhamma, in this teaching, that it, that, that is, it is called the Abhidhamma. So, simply Abhidhamma is a great is a greater and it is the sublime distinguished teaching and special teaching in Buddhism because because of its great qualities or distinguished qualities it is called Abhidhamma uh, at all aspects so <coughs> The Abhidhamma Pitaka consists of seven treatises. Okay, uh, so according to uh, Theravada tradition, see, according to Theravada tradition, uh, Abhidhamma Pitaka has or consists of seven, seven treatises, or we can say seven books, or yeah, seven treatises. For uh, គឺដូចជាមហាជានគឺសាសនាផ្សេងផ្សេងដូចជាមហាជាននៅទី so, according to English, we have cons uh, uh, Abhidhamma Pitaka consists of seven uh, three treatises, namely, uh, uh, namely, Dhamma Sangini, okay, page number 17, okay, Dhamma Sangini, Vibhanga, Dhatu Kata, Puggala Panyati, Tatavatu, Yamaka Pathana. So these are the seven treatises, or just for your understanding, seven books in Abhidhamma. The seven books in Abhidhamma. It is a purple bar, a atman and come here, yam and come at a cock of trout, yet you there in Chipisa, come at a atman, jay, pisa, and lay chan people, some rap chun chip pong, some rap, yet you know, then a board ແລະគាត់មិនសូវចេះពិសាខ្មែរណាគឺមានបំពលអឺធម្មសង្ឃសង្ឃសង្ឃសង្ឃនេះវិភាងគៈធាតទៅកតាពុកលបញ្ញា
explain you that the word dhamma has wide range of meanings one is that but the most common meaning is the doctrine of the buddha but according to the dhamma sangini it's mean the classification of the dhamma but the dhamma here referring to we call it condition phenomena yeah condition phenomena so so dhamma sangini this book is divided into four chapters so dhamma sangini has four chapters uh, first chapter is about chitta is about consciousness and the second chapter rupa rupa means matter or we can say the physical entities is about um, uh, uh, matter and the third chapter is partly we call the caper summary so uh, it is whatever discussed in the first and then the second are uh, summary uh, are summary in in the third chapter so the final one atuddhara elucidation so elucidation is about kinds of explanation or elaboration or further discussion so these are the four chapters incorporated in in dhamma sangini okay we have uh, another 10 minutes left because i have to go for another class the 22 tika matikas triplets and the 100 dukkha matikas couplets which comprise the quintenses quintenses mean the core teaching of the buddha of abhidhamma are explained in this book so in this book you know the triplets uh, triplets and couplets it's mean that uh, like some teaching uh, to explain i mean for easily understanding uh, buddhist uh, buddha use you know kinds of classification or kinds of number to explain uh, uh, the teaching incorporated in 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 abhidhamma some he use like two pair like pairs some he use like you can say cup like like double you know double topic we can say double topic that's there are two which are two and sometimes uh, buddha use a uh, triple topic like three things or three three fall entities to explain the his teaching like explaining something in number so the major part of the book is devoted to the explanation of the first triplet so but the majority of the book is devoted or is referred to explain the triplet or we can say threefold things or threefold condition entities okay you will you will understand this like buddha explain like kusala dhamma akusala dhamma abhyakata dhamma so you can see that there are three so there are three that that, that that's why it is called triplet or triple things or triple entities or threefold things so in dhamma sangini the the teaching in number are explained so this is the key method in 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 elaborating uh, dhamma in extend the book exceeds 13 bhanavaras so now we are talk we are, we are discussing about its content or its containment so dhamma sangini uh, exceeds or uh, consists of 13 bhanavaras so bhanavaras means recital according to the according to the translation but bhanavaras is about the section you know about the section or part or we can say chapter but so you you can refer to the page number 18 so bhanavara so each bhanava bhanavara each bhanavara consists of uh, consists of uh 250 verses 250 verses 
my English very poor Come yay chung yum, come rin ta tama come and chay nana de chay ta bari and chung te So Banavaras So Banavaras the translation is recitals but you have to understand that what I want to say some English translation or some English translated words don't convey the real meaning of the Pali term so just just for your information Banavaras or Banavara consists of 250 verses okay so each uh, so each Banavara 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 consists of yeah consists of 200 50 verses so in Dhammasangini you have 13 Banavaras 13 Banavaras you can understand that it's mean 13 and 250 yeah, a lot I mean many many many, many verses uh, incorporated in in Dhammasangini and again so one verse so just just to understand Banavara consists of 250 verses yeah one banavara banavara and one and one verse you know one verse uh, consists of consists of four lines okay one verse consists of four lines four lines and one line consists of eight letters okay consists of eight letters so all together uh, Dhamma Sangini has 104,000 letters yeah 104,000 letters so like because it has 13 you know 13 Banavaras. So, Nico had to chase and kai some lap some lap got banjul and lay high at Marco Nija Pesak my titi take a Tom sang the Hammer Sangini, Ruko, my young aunt, Tom sang Guinea Jenny, the coach goes on Kaipo. Goo 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 Min ni kepak min atut darat. Hai kau ni ke pujol pi apa yang dah tahu tak tahu tentang matika. Nah min matika do cengi yang suap lewe. Kau min kusala thwami, kusala thwami, apia kata thwami cedah min tahu. Kau kau pujol thwai cipi, pekla pujol thwai cipai cang tahu. Nengai hai kau ni ke pah thom sangi ni min masain bun pon aso. Nah tam tam kei phong jol tam tse khnong ai ka sa ni mien ma pon mien ma sain buon pon a so na okay so okay now let's us go to vibhanga okay page number 18 vibhanga so vibhanga means division so vibhanga vibhanga is the pali term so this is the second uh, treatise of abhidhamma Vibhanga and it's about division like every condition phenomena you know are divided for easily understanding according to Vibhanga there are 18 divisions in this book so in uh, Vibhanga there are 18 18 divisions 1 8 okay 18 divisions the first three divisions okay the first three divisions which deal with kand aggregates ayatana sense fears and dhatu elements so the first three divisions you know deal with kand uh, aggregates sense fears and elements so someone who never learn Buddhism might be uh, confused and feel confused what are the aggregates what are the sense fears what are the dhatu like 
I, I don't want to spend time explaining explaining now because we will study uh, in future so you will be explained and you will be under you will be clear what are the aggregates what are the sense spheres and elements ຈຶ່ງຍຶດຍົມໄດ້ອັດດາບານຮຽນນັ້ນຄືອາດຊງ uh, so in in Vibhanga, every teachings, I mean the profound teachings of the Buddha are uh, microscopically divided and analyzed. So in in Vibhanga, the entire teaching related to the to the aggregates or elements or truth are divided. Are divided it means uh, separately analyzed or microscopically analyze so so what are the dhammas so just for your understanding so are the most important so other chapters deal with such truth indriya controlling faculties pachaya uh, kara casual genesis satipatthana foundation of mindfulness samyapadhana supreme efforts iddhipada means of accomplishments bhujanga factors of wisdom jhana esthesis or absorptions appamanya eliminatables magga paths and, and and so on okay so most of these divisions consist of three parts okay so most of these divisions so vibhanga how many how, uh, how many division this Vibhanga, ha, this Vibhanga has 18 divisions 18 1 8 so each and and most of these divisions consists of three parts okay most not all not 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 the not the 18 but most of the uh, divisions consists of uh, three parts one is suttant explanation the explanation referring to the discourses okay discourses because buddhism have three baskets one is discipline disciplinary court then you know, discourses and the profound teaching of the buddha so suttant explanation means uh, the explanation related to or referring to the um, discourses and then abhidhamma explanation then second explanation is about uh, re referring to the abhidhamma and the final one is panha puchaka catechism catechism means that uh, the explanation referring to the question and answer or like or in the way that the facts are uh, 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 broken down you know in, in different parts so in this treatise there are 35 banavaras so so in Vibhanga there are 35 you know in Dhamma Sangini you have only 13 13 banavaras but in uh, Vibhanga you have 35 Banavaras it means you have 280,000 letters 280,000 letters okay so the uh, so the second the, the third uh, treatise Dhatukata discussion with reference to elements. So here the entire teaching or the entire discussion 
or the entire explanation refers to the elements so elements are discussed in this uh, treatise which is called the Hatukata. this book discusses whether the mass are included or not included in associated with or dis dis dissociated from aggregates bases and elements so like dhamma here is about page number 19 page number 19 so dhamma here is about the condition phenomena or the teaching of the buddha so it discusses that whether you know whether the doctrine of the buddha included in uh, aggregates bases and elements or not or the teachings of the buddha uh, are associated with aggregates or elements or bases or not so it is about and and the hatukata is about the discussion related to uh, this kind this kind of questions there are 14 chapters in this book so uh, the Gotha has 14 chapters in extent it exceeds six banavaras so uh, the Gotha has only um, six banavaras it means it has it consists of four 48,000 letters 48,000 letters yeah uh, so let me finish the lesson today